Right, we're down here today in the exchange just doing a wee, uh, a wee workshop on basically painting out a room. Some of the equipment that you will need. You have a small roller from behind the rad uh, radiators, standing knives, filling knives, various brushes in sizes from two and a half down to an inch, some masking tape, a nine inch roller, medium pie, salmon pads, fillers, a caulking gun to fill in the gaps from skirting boards or door frames. Then you have various uh, sizes of scuttles. You have a small scuttle here, you have a tray, small pots for your paint, an extension pole for doing your scenes, and most importantly a ladder. And we just put a paint here. This is just a standard vinyl for walls. You buy it in any hardware store. Standard mat, uh, contract for scenes. And upper base undercoat and gloss for your tumble work, your uh, skirt boards, your architects. And basically, with those, with those amount of uh, tools, you can basically do any room in any house. Right, when we're starting to do the walls, remove all any, any kind of posters or, or paintings or wall hangings. This one is fixed. So just leave this on, but anything else, take it away, remove it. And if there's blue tack or sellotip on the wall, do you want make sure you get rid of the residue of the blue tack or the sellotip. And and like over here, we've got some nails, some wee fixings here. These will be used again, but otherwise just take them out, fill them up, sand them off, and that you prepared for them. Okay. If you don't have decorating sheets, big dust covers, they are inexpensive. You can buy a dust cover for anything from about 8 euros up, but also you can buy plastic. Or if any kind of sheeting will be any kind of old denton, the, the main thing is to cover the whole work out, because it will save you a lot of work later on. Right, the best protection for kitchen presses is this plastic that comes already taped and you see that right? I'll just show you how it works. Just put on the top of your press. So this here take it over to the end. as required. Go back. And while you're painting your ceiling then, your presses are completely covered and we'll do the same across the top of the tile here. As you see there, taped on there, it just drapes over the top of your worktop and eliminate any sparking. Your worktop to get clean. You'll get those these rolls of tape. Four fifty-five euros, and basically nearly all hardware stores. You get them in various depths. Right, we're going to make up a bit of filler here for the wall to fill in cracks. Just a, a pot, some water, clean water, just dry fillers. Put on some fillers. Mix it up until you get a paste. Just keep adding slowly until you get a paste. That's Workable. Just keep adding a little, a little bit of time. Right, once you get that nice creamy consistency there, now that fits perfect for bottom. Take a second, finally. Put that on here. 
Go over to your fill, the area you want to fill. We have already scraped out this crack here and smooth. A little bit of fillers on. Fill it down, just put it on a wee bit proud first. Because we can go over then with the knife once we're finished again and we can just clean off the excess. Normal, normal heating conditions in the house, this would be ready to paint over to sand and paint over in about an hour. Any, any cracks in the walls, any holes in the walls, all fall the same way. Scrape them out, clean them out, fill them up. There we have a wee bit here. Just take a little bit in your knife. That's it. That little hole there. Just any wee holes you see, any fine cracks. Fill them in. As you can see from the scene here, there's a, a large crack one on the full left of the scene. Generally the same idea, clean out the, the, the crack, fill it over within an hour, sand it off, dust it down and ready for painting. When it comes to fillers, most uh, hardware stores have a selection of fillers, three or four types. Just the best policy is ask the people in the shop, tell them what you're doing, tell them the project you have in mind and they will advise you the best fillers to use. Right. As we said, we previously previously filled this out. Sand pad, easily bought. They're 20, 30 cents. Back and forth, and take off. And just keep sand. And hold. Everything smooth. And when you finish sand, just push it down to get rid of the dust. Make sure your walls dust free before you start painting them. When you're doing, particularly in kitchens, if the walls would be greasy around the cooking area, around the sink area, they can be uh, prepped up with using a solution called sugar, sugar soap. You buy it at same again at hardware stores. You dilute it with water, warm water, wash it on, wipe it off. It's just quite simple to use. Maybe one part uh, uh, sugar soap to five parts water, warm water. Wipe it on with a cloth, wipe it off with a clean cloth, let the walls dry and then remove all the grease. Just follow instructions on the bottom.